Well, it's a switch that's saving one city more than a million dollars. And we're looking at the impact it could have on your water and sewer bills. Jordan Burgess getting answers about the project that's being touted nationwide. We are the first to tell you about government waste, but in this case, it's waste that's saving the government money. And you don't even have to hold your nose to see the results. Normally, you think of money being flushed down the toilet, but now the flushes are saving dollars. Being good stewards of public funds, you I mean, that's, that's the, the name of the game. For years, Dayton didn't want to get its hands dirty when it came to dealing with what in the industry are termed biosolids. A company did the process of turning them into this fertilizer for the city. They were contracted to come in um, and actually staff and manage this, this whole process. But two years ago, the city's water department decided to start doing the work itself. The staff really stepped up to the plate to make sure that the operations went, you know, very smoothly. Now the city is collecting big savings from the switch. We've actually saved $1.7 million over this last two years. Over 15 years, the savings are estimated at around $20 million. The project landed the city in a national water industry magazine. But officials say its biggest impact may be with your water. The money that we make off the water system actually goes back into those pipes, into making sure that water is safe and you can drink it. And that's not the water department's only money-saving operation. Dayton is one of only two cities in the country with a lime kiln. The city has contracts to sell that lime to other municipalities. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.